hello everybody and welcome back to another vlog. Um, I'm going to go on with the first thing that's on this, probably what this episode is called, um, why I don't have No Man's Sky. It came out today. I literally had to unsubscribe from someone who does so many videos on No Man's Sky. I know I'm going to, that I don't, literally I don't even want to get title spoilers. Yep, that's how determined I am. So good. All right. I said I was going to get it, and this was a game I really wanted to get when it came out. I'm going on holiday next week, I think, on Friday. Uh, like when this is my last day of school, which I think is like half day or last... Well, I think tomorrow I've got half day as well. Or something like that. Then... Then, yeah, Thursday is almost like packing, and then... Friday we're gone. Um, but... I think Friday we arrive. So I think we leave, obviously guys if you think about it, we're travelling from here to Spain, so you can think of it as time travel, I've realised I've still left the kind of square things on, because I use these weird little box things, um, which I can set on the screen to see it in the centre of the camera. So I'm sitting fairly far back, I'm going to sit a little bit closer, um, there we go. So, so, yeah, so basically we're flying over and it's almost like time travel, because you go into a different time zone. So technically, I'm going to, uh, if you would have the time for Spain and the time for England compared, you will realise they're different. Anyone who has seen times for different parts of the world, um, you will find out that they're different. Anyway, um, the, um, so yeah, so I'm going on holiday next week. Mum and Dad said that then I shouldn't really bother getting a PlayStation before that time. Because, um, obviously then I would play for it for, while well, the videos I meant, like, I've now put it into kind of my timetable videos, so you know, look, Monday's Halo, so this is what it'll be, Monday Halo, Tuesday break, um, so, you know, I didn't, no, wait, Monday's nothing, <laughs> then Tuesday is Halo, um, until I finish the game. Recently now, it's all been a little all over the place, but, you know. This shirt has such a big neck room. I've just realised that. Um, anyway, then, um, what else is there? Uh, then there's Wednesday, which is another day off. Thursday, which is Minecraft, which is actually something I'm now trying to keep in go going through the whole time I've got my channel going. I do still have my timeline right here. But yeah, Minecraft is something which goes straight through the whole timeline. It's very important, actually, to everything. Um, so important I didn't even realise. Um, anyway, then there's another break, and another break. No, wait. I may have to do some editing with the time, because then, th yeah, Thursday's Minecraft. Friday is No Man's Sky. That's the day I record No Man's Sky, because actually at my school, we have a half... I call it a three-quarter day, because, um... Normally we would then leave at lunch, which is around about one thirty, something like that. I don't know, one, somewhere around one. Um, so we would leave before lunch. I always go take a lunch box, meaning well, as soon as I get home, I can just open it and start eating. Um, because you know, usually by then I'm hungry because it's lunch. Um, but yeah, but Friday goes on to the last lesson, but we just have a shorter lunch and. I've forgotten now what the thing in between. So we have like a small little thing which goes in between lunch and last lesson. Which is a small thing that goes in between there. Um, don't remember what it's called now. But yeah, basically everyone just kind of goes there. It's like a small little group um, of people from all the different kind of years, things like that. Anyway, um, so yeah, what they do is they just shorten those two. So lunch then, I don't know how much it's shortened, but I actually don't remember. I don't think it's an hour. I think it's like 45 minutes is the main time. So I think they then shorten it to like 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, actually, wait, that is right. I think they shorten it about, yeah, 10 minutes. No, no, wait, that's 15. 15 minutes, and then, yeah, Tutor is also shortened a bit. And then last lesson is still an hour long. Um, and that's either a library lesson, so when you sit in silence and read a book, I'm not too bothered with these because usually I just picture what goes on. Oh, why am I talking about school? But anyway, um, conclusion. 
the day is shorter so that I can get home and I can film No Man's Sky. Um, there is a full-on backstory to it which I may actually explain. I'm going to explain it now. Basically, in No Man's Sky, basically, as I said, everything links together with Minecraft. So in Minecraft, Dr. Zimmer, this is actually something I may record before I do the episode and edit it into the episode. Where you will see the entrance to the shuttle bay. Yes, yeah, so I'll allow it is it's meant to be much bigger and I am actually now planning to build the shuttle bay. The first version will be like a hundred blocks both directions and probably up as well. Probably more than a hundred, just basically as high as I can go because it will be down at bedrock. So it's meant to be a very big cargo, not cargo bay, shuttle bay. It's more like a docking bay though. Um, what's the difference? I talked about this last time. I talked about it last um, off camera. Shuttle bay is where you park smaller ships, which are known as shuttles. Docking bay is where you park bigger ships. I love the way I'm saying park like a car. Basically, yeah, it, it's where we land our ships. So. Um, so I'm probably going to build stuff from TV series, so I'm going to rebuild my Firefly that I had. Actually, I might leave my Firefly where it is. Because uh, I built a Firefly and then deleted the video I did because my brother's friends were getting annoyed and I actually punched one of them. So that was interesting. Um, then there was... Um, see, I'm probably going to build like Starbug. If I can make it big enough, I did actually come up with a name for the type of ship Red Dwarf is. I will never build an actual version of Red Dwarf since it's the size of a city. But, you know. Anyway, so, if anyone remembers the terrible video I did with the Halo Texture Pack. It was around about, I think I started building this ship in what happened. It's a really old episode. It's not that old, actually. But it was the first edited video I did actually using the software I still kind of use for editing. No, I, I use something else. And it, for some reason, it made... The screen really small, I think. I don't know why that happened, but... You know, it was done, I uploaded it, and that just happened as a... Okay, great. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and then... Um, but yeah, by the time I finished that, I had already... Because then, the reason the episode of that was actually meant to be kind of planned was absolutely rubbish, was because I had actually done it before. I had done that video... Thought I had uploaded it, deleted the video from everything I had, so from my tablet and from the computer. Then went and did the next episode, went to go upload that, found out I hadn't uploaded the last one. Then panicked, redid the episode, because I literally actually had a Halo ring exploding. I built a, yes, very small version of it, but I built a version of it, put some TNT behind it, and this was a one block wide thing, so I actually had to look at it directly to so you couldn't see the TNT. And with no way to delay it at the time, because I didn't have the correct update that allowed me to turn on and off TNT explosions, I had to go round, place the redstone torch, and then go round the other side as quickly as I could whilst filming. Actually, well, I, didn't, I didn't have the ability to cut, so I actually had to go all the way around, then hit go in time for the explosion to go off. It was so hard, I did like 50 takes on that, and the second time where I found out I hadn't uploaded it, I just... I went, forget it, and I just left it out. And it said, end of the episode, just me getting in the ship. Anyway, I built that small ship, and it's more like a living ship. It's got food. Um, anyone who has seen kind of my episode, I did an episode at one point where I went into a different world, which was going to be used uh, again. At the end of that episode, playing the Red Dwarf theme with a montage that I had built of me traveling throughout kind of the world, or through space. And... In that montage, I had an upgraded version of the ship, which I never transferred in my old into my other world. Well, technically it's now my old world. But it's still the original one. Um, that's meant to be still the base of everything. So, so yeah, and basically, Dr. Lima has now come up with an idea that we should bake, bake, make a better version of that ship. The episode then ends of us going into the, not the episode, but the part ends with us going to the shuttle bay. I then will probably start saying it's been a few days or something since I found out I still had an 80s camera on me. That, or I find out the suit actually has a recording button. The suit is meant to be a prototype. The suit is the N13. Anyone who's watched my Mass Effect videos will prob 
may know if you watch the whole thing that uh, the suit basically everyone everyone who's playing Mass Effect knows this on the suit that there's an N7 suit not suit mark somewhere around I think it's here so like over here uh, for you it's the other way around to me that's why I was struggling because I was looking at myself anyway it's like N7 so I, I decided that that was the N07 but we just called it N7 it's also weird because that's actually the group I'm in at school I mean N7 is really weird <laughs> it's like Oh, okay. When I told my friend that, he was like, yeah, that's weird. Um, no, because basically we've, we've got a series of the end suits, which I will probably do a separate episode on. Um, as well as maybe printing out some copies of a skin I did, which was going to show up in The Travelers, which I haven't talked about yet. But well, I've talked about it a little bit, but not really much detail. All you guys probably know is it's a Minecraft ver it's an animated Minecraft version of Doctor Who, but with different characters and different story and all of that, using Dalek mods mostly. I am going to use also kind of movement and things like that, um, I'm trying to think, what is it? I don't know, but there are animation mods and things like that as well, so in normal gameplay, because it will tie in with the actual PC survival series, it will tie in because we'll have animation mods, but I will have animation mods, allowing me to look slightly more like an actual character from the series. Anyway, um, so yeah, so anyway, then with the story of what, with No Man's Sky, I, after building the ship, we test everything, we test everything on it, apart from the emergency warp drive, we test it whilst I am flying over the Atlantic Ocean, don't ask me why, it's always been that I'm flying over the Atlantic Ocean testing a warp drive, I don't know why I'm honestly, uh, technically it's a fast, FTL drive, but it's more of a warp drive because we actually teleport, kind of. Um, anyway, then, when I activate it, I manage to skim the top of the Eiffel Tower, which I think I mentioned also in my video, and I shoot off. I say in the videos prob that I teleported, not teleported, but I went about 20, not 20, 10 galaxies away. The actual number is meant to be 20. Um, or more, um, because I know that there are more galaxies in, in the game. Basically, guys, all the research I ever learned on No Man's Sky was actually by looking up a YouTuber. I don't remember his name now. Um, the guy with an S is... I don't remember now. Um, I remember I looked at him for the ship idea stuff. Oh... When I start watching him again, I will leave a link in the description to his channel. This is the thing, I can't go onto his channel because I don't want to know if he is filming stuff. This is the thing, I actually started theorising myself what, because they delayed the game. They delayed the game, I would have had it by now if they hadn't delayed it. But they said they were delaying it for something special. They never said what. I still remembered that they had said that Everyone, like, at the office, and things, I don't really have an office, I don't think. But anyway, when they were designing a game, someone always puts, as a joke, space whales. And puts it on the notice board for them to add into the game. I remember they really liked this idea. So, I started thinking, are they actually adding space whales? Because one, then the actual kind of game designer then said, that how about rideable ones? I don't think rideable is a word. But you can ride them, so... Yeah, and the guy was saying, that's really cool, an organic spaceship. That will be something awesome I would love to be able to do. As well as I think you're also able to get out of your ship in space, but I'm not sure about that. I will Anything that actually means death in space, I will look up on the internet. I'm not going to do it myself. It's like flying into the sun, flying into a black hole, since they did say there were black holes. Should be pretty easy to spot, since it's like 70s space star. So like, you fly out into space, and depending on what kind of... I forgot what it's called. Uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Tribe? Basically, group. Um, faction, that's it. Um, so, depending on which faction owns kind of this area of the galaxy, depends on which colour, kind of almost like the cloud you're in, looks. So, when you come out into space, depending on which faction owns it, depends on which colour the space is, which will be a lot kinder on my tablet. If I was playing that with a black space, 
anything that is bright, it's like Skyrim, anything that's bright will be incredibly bright, and anything that's dark will become incredibly dark. And it just messes with my camera, because it's trying to adjust to both the light, and it just goes halfway in between making everything really dramatic. Not dramatic, but you know what I mean. So with this one being, everything is actually coloured, so you know, you've got blue, green, red, orange, kind of areas in the space, there's, I think, anyway, those are all the colours I've seen, you know, that means in space, it won't be that bad on my tablet, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'm also going to do stuff like, I'm not going to actually say what I think the suit will look like, currently on the tablet, I am actually designing the suit, um, for probably Minecraft. The game will hopefully go on for like 200 episodes or so before, and then eventually, um, I'll end off the series and probably leave saying I've now managed to get back. And then, that's where like, Mass Effect and Firefly come in, where now I want a crew, so if that happens again, I'm not on my own. I do actually, I'm probably going to say at the beginning that I, I've been there for a few days, which I said earlier, but I've been rebuilding the ship because I crashed. I was in coming into the atmosphere when I woke up, because I went ten galaxies, then the warp drive shut down. Someone did actually ask, why didn't you just use it again? And I said, it's actually, that's, I had already thought about that loophole. When I say that when I took it out, it literally turned to ash in my hand, it burnt itself out. Um, then I started actually thinking, oh my word, I've just created a story. Dr. Lima built this thing. When I'm meant to get back, he's meant to be controlling the village. And I just ended up, wait, did Dr. Limmer just actually, you know, send me out into space? Trying to get rid of me so he can own the islands. Islands, because there's more than one. There's like three in one map, and then I have no idea how many in the new one. But yeah, literally, I was like, oh my word. I Have I just created, like, a mini story? Um... You know, I've got lost, Dr. Lim has taken control of the village, telling he has it. He's meant to hand it right back, but technically I don't control it. For the DHT, which is for Dimensional Hero Team, uh, which is where Gordon, Steven, the, all of those people that I control throughout dimensions and time and things like that, um, I am actually second in command. Dr. Lim is the first. I just say second in command. I drew it somewhere, actually. Um, I think I've got it in my Venturian jumper, but I don't know if that would mean I get copyright, so I just took it off. And um, that's why I'm wearing this. Um, I drew it simple. Ow! Just hit the table. Um, I did draw, draw it, and um, I think I'm second leader. That's what I said, second leader. Also, I am going to start working on a jumper for, for myself. I am actually... Des I did, yes, not yesterday, last night I did start thinking of a jumper to actually try and sell. Uh, it'll have my symbol, so the Nurse Jones symbol, I don't have a picture of that anywhere, but Nurse Jones symbol um, on the back. It will be a hoodie, because I quite like hoodies, as well as also having the of uh, The DHT kind of badge there with two rings, meaning I am seconding. Technically, the lower down you go, the kind of cooler it looks. I would say around about until you're like fifth in command fifth leader. Um, I'll probably then over, have over here like N, N suit, because it will be like the original version. And then I'll probably just have stuff like on uh, the side of the shirt, I'll have like a gun from something, I don't know. But I'll just probably dot it with lots of stuff that I usually watch. Like, I was even thinking like for this arm, uh, for having the grapple from Just Cause, um, just trying to show you it. You can just about see it. Um, seriously, just look up an image of it. Just Cause 2 Grapple. It's more likely going to be the Just Cause 3, though. I did also design my own. Anyway, um, I don't know what this has to do with the story anymore. No, so, yeah, so, No Man's Sky, it's been a delay because for two weeks I'm going on holiday. It came out this week. I'm going to struggle for three, for around about three and a bit weeks not looking up anything to do with No Man's Sky. I am literally struggling. I'm there, like, on the internet going, I'm bored, what should I watch? And it's just there, like, coming into my head, watch No Man's Sky, and it's like, no. <laughs> because it's there saying, look at the trailer, like, see if they released a release trailer. That sounds, that wasn't meant to sound like, but, did they re have a release trailer? 
and I want to look it up, but again, I don't want to in case videos of No Man's Sky come up. And you know, I don't want to see, because if there are space worlds, which I don't know yet, I'm, I'm just guessing, but if there are space worlds, I I don't want to just be lo looking through like a list of videos or something and then see, you know, space whale, something like that. Um, actually, I do have a notepad somewhere, I think it's on the floor. Um, wait, I can it up. It's over there. And, um... Uh, shoot, it's not this one. Um, I did start noting stuff down. Um, I'm I'm gonna forget about that. Um, I'm I'm gonna forget what's in here. I actually will note it down somewhere. But I, I what my plan is. Uh, it's a different booklet somewhere. I've like overlaid it three times or something. Um, but here. You can try reading that, it's probably not spelled correct. Basically it says there, plutonium, uh, it spawns in 20 degrees areas. Um, it's a red crystal and it's used for fuel. And then thanium, which I just said was warp, um, warp drive fuel. Um, well, they said it was good for the warp drive. So I think it's just better or more efficient or something. But I didn't really have much because they were mining it out of an asteroid. I was warp... This is the thing, I... All the information I ever got from the game came out before the game was out. So it was watching demos, things like that, picking apart small bits, and also watching that YouTuber. Uh, no, I don't remember the name of I swear it's like Seren Gaming or something like that. It's like a blue symbol with then um, the No Man's Sky symbol, so it's just basically this. It almost looks like the Sims crystal. Um, that thing there. And. Like, I swear, guys, on the end of every trailer, I've also started theorizing what that thing actually is. I swear, in the center of the galaxy, so you watch the ending of e any of the trailers, and you will see that there is almost like a kind of... I think it's called a valley? Uh, it's like a valley, with then that thing flying in the air, and it looks very deserty, and it's just got that pulsing, and every time it pulses, it's every, like, three seconds, and it gets bigger. And I think on the third one, something, it's almost like a sandstorm that goes over the top of you. And so it comes up from um, the, where you're looking, basically, um, on its last beat. And I swear that that must have something to do with the location on where it is. That like maybe in the centre of the galaxy you find this planet, it's one of those solar system planets. You land on the planet and you can see, and if you go to the right area on the planet, you find the crystal. It's probably on the nearest side of the warping area. That something like that at least, because I remember he said that he wanted beacons and a space station and things like that to be on the closest area to where you warp in. Um, because that's more likely the area you would actually go to a planet by. Um, but yeah, I looked up a lot of stuff on it, so I know you got mini maps and stuff like that, which they don't show in the trailers. So literally, I'm going to try and avoid watching videos on there. If Venturin uploads anything, I will have to ignore it, and that is going to be so tricky because Venturin is so funny. I've, I've been watching his, like, 2 million subscriber video, and his Five Nights at Freddy's one. Not, like, the first one, but it was the one... I think it's actually the second or third one, that, but it's the first one with Venturin, Jordan. That was his name, wasn't it? I think it was. Jordan. It was... Sierra, Bethany, Homeless Goomba, and Jordan. I don't know why I pointed out myself. I'm just remembering where we sat in the video. I know it's Bethany, Bethany but they called it her Gertrude. <laughs> um, anyway. Because uh, she didn't want to say a name, because it's actually the channel, um, her gamertag name. Anyway, so. Um, I think that was everything. Um, I'm going to also try and upload another vlog on the Mass Effect Andromeda and... Basically, well, I'm gonna quick. I'm gonna quickly say that now. Mass Effect Andromeda. I'm not gonna get it on the day it comes out. I'm gonna get it hopefully on the first of November. The time I'm. It's actually my birthday on the first of November. I don't know why I was about to say this year because of course it's this year. Um. So. Yeah, the, I'm gonna get the game on the first of November. It'll probably be the first gameplay I do on that day. Not the first gameplay, but the first video I do on that day. Uh, any games I get, because um, so far the trailer doesn't give a very precise 
point on when it comes out, it just says coming this falls. Which actually I had to ask about because um the I suppose fall as in leaves dropping. They could have seriously just said coming this um autumn or something. Um or you know, October or November. So anyway, um if it comes out in October, I'll be fine for November. If it comes out at some point during November, then I will get some I'll ask for some sort of I've forgotten what's called now. I'm I'm very good now with my memory. Uh for I'm gonna try and uh it's like one of those cards which you get, um, and it means that they keep them in the store till you go and get it. Well, for a certain time, that they keep it there for like a few days or a few weeks or something. So that means that you, when you go, you can get it straight away. Um, so yeah, I'll probably have that happen if it's during November, but after my birthday, if it's coming in October, I'll get it then. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.